And we're back, you guys, so let us continue. So, we've gotten deeper into the Shadow Moses uh, base. Basically, now we are at the furnace, where there used to be all this, um, I believe, uh, liquid metal or whatever it was. This whole area I had before, but as you can see, that it's gone, basically. But there are some sentries around here. Uh, one of those mini geckos. There they are. There are some, uh, I guess, a lot of stuff to pick up around. But I guess nothing too important. Try and, uh. Well. Ah! Yeah, I try not to get spotted, but it's really difficult to not get spotted by these guys. But it's not a big deal, because all you need to do is get into this room. And it's sort of like they kind of forget about you for some reason. Like, they, they're unable to, to get in here, I guess. I want to try and be at 100%. Don't want to be using my rations. <clears throat> Here, I believe there was... Mm, well, they're on the walls, but he's not pointing that laser this way. I mean, that's the only way they can see is through that laser. I can't pick up anything. It's a lot of uh, different kinds of bullets, but I guess I have them all. Hmm. There's a ration here. I might as well use it. So we gotta get close to that door over there so that we can trigger uh, that we can trigger our dialogue that will lead us to where we need to go. There we go. Otacon, how do I get this door open? It's not opening? That's weird. I know I disengaged security back at the lab. We should have been able to get to Rex's storage hangar from here. I've got it. If memory serves, there are casting and rolling facilities directly beneath the furnace. You should be able to pass through them to a drainage duct that leads to the hangar. How do I get there? There should be a special service elevator in the northwest corner of this floor. Northwest corner. Got it. And now, we're going to be heading to the elevator. Well, let me wait till things cool down a little. A little. <laughs> Cause they're gonna spot me once I get over there, but um, I mean I could use chaff grenades, but I'm trying to save them for one particular spot where if you don't have them, it'll just make it a lot more difficult. I'll be explaining as we get there. So the furnace is on the northwest. Uh, I don't know where's what's the best path to get there. Oh, I think I had to climb up and then drop down. So I don't think I can get there through here. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go back. I'm gonna try my best not to get seen, because it's a long way and... Well, not a long way, but I want to at least uh, not be spotted when I call the elevator, because otherwise with all those enemies on me while waiting, it's going to be a, a headache. Okay, I can do a double drop here. Uh, which direction are they looking? Ugh. Great. Get here, elevator. Man, I can't hide anywhere. 
Oh, there it is. Oh, get out. Oof. Good thing I didn't use the rations. Snake. I've got something to tell you about Naomi Hunter. What about her? She might be a spy. To kill me? Is that all you cared about? Frank Yeager. The man who you destroyed was my brother and my only family. Great Fox. You killed my benefactor and sent my brother home a cripple. I vowed revenge. But I can't go yet. I still have a job to do. I vowed revenge. It's really cool to hear those uh, dialogues from the past. And we have Gecko. <laughs> Gecko, and we've run out of. Uh, I believe I've run out of the uh, magazines. Oh man, what am I gonna do? I need at least one for a certain. For a certain spot over there. Again, this another area that getting spotted is going to be very bad. <laughs> Especially since we're dealing with Gecko. There's one here that passes by and turns around. Using the, this opportunity to try and recharge as much as I can. So try and have your rations equipped because those gecko have the ability to kick one kill, you know, one hit k kill you. So especially if you're playing on the box, ex the boss extreme. <clears throat> So let's try and avoid contact at all costs. There's one area that is almost inevitable that they see you. This is why. This is why I have my rations on because I'm expecting to get a, get hit at some point. I can avoid this laser here. Let's go really quickly. Right. Really nice. This spot here is where uh, Snake ran away last time on the first game. Mm. Yeah, this is the area where there are a, mix a mixture of Gecko and the mini Gecko. But I guess I'm gonna have to. I have two only. Well, I might as well make a good use of this one. I need to get the hell out of here. Oh, great. I forgot. I need to cross through this thing. Come on. Ah, oh, this is not good. Whoa. I haven't shown you guys that our new weapon that we found, the railgun, is the perfect weapon to kill Gecko. There's, I'd say it's the only good weapon to kill Geckos. We charge it up. And there we go. One shot. Damn. All of my rations are gone with just that. Just great. Wow. <laughs> what a waste. <laughs> yeah, that's the whole problem with being seen at that spot is that it's impossible to survive without some rations on you. But I use uh, I used to use the magazines to throw them and 
get them off my back for a second, you know, it's just long enough for me to pass through. So this is the area that that I was talking about. Uh, when you use, if you don't use a chaff grenade here, you're going to be seen inevitably. What you do is that you throw the shaft grenade and then you get through as quickly as possible, but I want to grab some stuff that are on the top. So I'm going to use that time where the um, when the chaff grenade is active. And the big problem is that if they see you, you need to destroy them when you get in through the door. Finally, it's just up ahead. The hangar's just a little bit further. Stay on route. Because otherwise, uh, it's not going to work. I, I, I mean, the, the, the other door is not going to open and you need to kill everybody. I mean, you need to destroy all, all enemies so that the alert status can go down. That's why it's a real pain in the ass to be seen in this area. But I think I have long enough to, uh, to not be seen. Yes, I did it. Rex is on the floor above you. Use the lift. And now cutscenes. I'm afraid so. Unfortunately for you, the railgun is no longer here. Naomi. This place will be your grave, as my queen wishes. The suicide gecko are on their way. Soon, there'll be nothing left of this place. We've been had. Oh, God. Snake, I think I might be able to get it working. I just need some time. Hurry! Mm. I'll leave the rest to you. They owe me. So this battle, if you don't know what you're doing, it would be a real pain in the ass. <laughs> I'll take care of Rex. You take Vamp. Kill that monster. Get Naomi back, Snake. Please. The first thing you need to do is obviously defeat Vamp. 
but once you defeat him, you have to do something, and uh, I'll be showing you guys what that is. He's not really that difficult. All you need to do is shoot him when he's uh, walking towards you without missing much. Because he sort of kind of retires when you hit him. Uh, but sometimes he kind of ignores it and still gets to you. What you can do is uh, jump to the side. It doesn't work all the time, but... You know... At least good enough for you to finish this fight without dying. Or at least I hope so. Although it's not a big deal if you use your rations or noodles or regains in here, because after this, uh, I mean, it's not like you're not gonna need them, but you might get some some more later. I wish you could buy them off from uh, from Draven. It's so much easier. Or I take that back. I don't like too easy. Oh man. Reload now? No. Get away. Get away, you freak. <laughs> Too fast. I'm just an old guy. An old man. Where is he? Oh. Ah. Yeah, I better recharge. No. I have the body of a 75 year old. Ah. Oh, what the hell? Uh, yeah, let's use this one. It's no big deal. It does almost exactly the same thing. Only that it does a little bit less damage. Come here, you. <laughs> Alright, let's get closer. Make sure that he's on the floor when you take him out. There we go. Now, unequip your weapon. You see QC. There we go, triangle. This is how you do it.
about it, undying man. Care to die too? Sorry, but I can't die just yet. Then kill me. <laughs> Snake, this one is mine. You keep those gecko at bay. So I'll be stopping here and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!